Hi there, and welcome to the Ice Tech Guide. In this instalment, we're going to take a look at the pre ride safety check or kite check. This is a quick and simple three part check to make sure your trike is safe before every ride. It involves a walk around check, a sitting down check, and a short riding check for which we'll obviously go outside and leave the studio. So, let's take a look at the walk around check. First of all, we need to check that the chain is lubricated and moving freely. To do this, you can simply pedal backwards and you're looking out for any stiff links that might click around the cogs or through the rear and front derailleurs. Stiff links will present themselves by staying in position like this. Now, give all three of your tyres a squeeze Make sure the pressure is feeling consistent across all three and there's plenty in all of them. And then give your tyres a visual inspection. Check along both sides of the tyre for any splits or cuts that might be there. Next, we need to check that the axles are tight. Ice Trike standard axles need a 5 and a 6mm Allen key. But obviously you may have Ice's quick release axles, so just check that the axles themselves are done up tightly and correctly. Also check the quick release on the rear wheel. Okay, so we've looked at the chain, the axles. Now we're gonna come around the trike. And check the fold hinge. Make sure that the fold hinge is tight and correctly done up. Then we can check the seat quick release and the quick release clamps underneath the base of the seat to make sure they are also done up tight and correctly. Next, we can make sure that the chain pulleys are spinning freely. If you have a 26 inch or 700C rear wheel and a rear suspension back end, you'll have a pulley here too. Whilst I'm here, if you have a Shimano Steps equipped electric trike, now is a good time to check that the battery is mounted correctly. And the last thing to make sure of on our walk around check is that any lights and reflectors are mounted correctly and pointing in the right direction. And your flag is also mounted correctly. Okay, so that concludes the walk around checks. Now we need to do the sit down checks. That's a bit more comfortable. Right, check number one, check your brakes are operating correctly. Make sure the cables are pulling through smoothly and the brakes themselves are biting. Make sure your handlebar position is correct. Make sure your handlebars are clamped tightly in the handlebar middle and there's no movement. Then make sure your steering is unobstructed and working as it should. And last but not least, Check your boom length is correct. Check everything for comfort. Your boom length, your seat angle, neck rest and wrist rests if you have them. Okay, next we're on to the riding. So I suppose we must go outside now. Hey, we're outside and I even managed to put my helmet on as I teleported there. Okay, so last couple of things to check. We just need to gently run through the gears just to make sure everything's shifting correctly. This is best done in a small area before you kind of crack on and start your main ride. You're looking for any uh, unusual noises that your trike might be making um, that don't seem familiar, so you can identify any issues. And last but not least, if you're on a step strike, uh, an electric assist Shimano step strike, you want to check that your battery has all the power it needs for your ride and that your motor kicks in as you start to pedal. So without further ado, Let's crack on and we'll go and check the gears. Okay, so there we have it. We've done all the safety checks. We've made sure the gears are working. Now, all that remains is to head off and enjoy your ride. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next tech guide. Cheers now.